Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat with Shaken. I hope you guys are having a good start to your day. Good morning. Thank you for joining me again. Liking, sharing, subscribing, booking, purchasing. Thank you for all that you do to support the channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. So I am back with some energies for you guys. And we got to catch up. It's been a day or so, right? You know, I can't go too long without communicating with you guys, all right? Communication is very important. But however, I have some channel energies as well, all right? So, um... I also, first, I want to thank, um, you know, my girlfriend, Linda, all right? So she bought me this crystal, all right? And this is a, a white crystal quartz, and it's definitely for your energy, protecting your energy, all right? <laughs> so that's the confirmation, okay, of protecting your energy, all right? So thanks, Linda. I appreciate that, all right? And then while I was out, I bought a green, a green calcite. All right. And this is also what I was drawn to. But this is also about energy work as well, protecting your energy and keeping your connection to the universe very strong. All right. So I was drawn to that one. I only buy crystals that I was drawn to. All right. So I was drawn to a lot, I guess. All right. So um, but that's connecting with the universe. So if you guys are into crystals and you want to pick up some energy, this is what these two are for. All right. So the next energy I got is that. Um, something unexpectedly might happen. It could be a death. Okay. And, um, someone might pass away in their sleep is the energy that I have. Okay. And, um, somebody said, why you always got to say death? Because death is a part of life. It's a part of reality. And sometimes it doesn't mean a physical death. It means maybe a death of a situation. All right. So you can have a new beginning. Okay, so divine don't build on faulty foundations. Okay, but um, also the energy when I meditated with the divine, I have for divine fam. All right, energy that you're satisfied. You're satisfied with how your life is going. Divine is satisfied with you. Okay, and they see you and what you're doing and how you're working on yourself and how you're healing. All right, and it's seven, seven, seven. You've been doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of reflecting. You could be seeing this number, okay? And divine is elated about how you have grown, how you have accepted that it is what it is, all right? You're having more patience, and you're really working on yourself, and you have to work on healing so you can draw in better energies, okay? So maybe those crystals would be good for you. Okay, so two, 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 all right? So you're making the right choices, but divine want you to choose wisely, all right? Because what I get here is that divine is trying to send you someone new, but you also got a, a past lover that's a devil energy, all right? You have a past lover that's a devil energy, and this devil energy could be trying to wreck anything new that comes in your life. All right. So you really have to choose wisely and you really have to stand in your power. That's why you have to do some soul searching. All right. You have to do some soul searching. This is divine film energy, but a masculine energy can be, you know, a divine film as well. OK. <clears throat> um, a divine film can be male or female. OK. So you have to choose wisely and you have to choose what's best for you. You have to stand in your power. You have to not allow yourself to be manipulated into a situation, all right? And you have to, you know, think about moving forward instead of going back in a situation. Been there, done that energy for you. And if it didn't work out and, you know, I spent so many years with this person, but where did it get you? Are you willing to invest another amount of years possibly to get nowhere? When divine could be offering you something new. So they want you to think about that choice and you really have to choose wisely because divine saying you are empowered with the knowledge that you have learned. You empowered about a narcissist. You empowered about karmics, third parties. You have grown from that. So they want you to choose wisely moving forward. You guys are seeing 333 because communication coming in. 
You guys are really being creative, okay? Really being creative, all right? So the other energy that I have is powerless. Someone feels powerless. This is the masculine energy. They feel like they have lost their power over you, all right? They're suffering about that, okay? And they're highly guarded, even though they could be in another situation, even though they could be with a karmic, okay? And they feel guilty as fuck about how they treated you. They really do, okay? So Divine said this is a spiritual learning lesson for both of you guys, all right? It is light at the end of the tunnel, but that's all about choosing wisely, okay? They could be stuck in a situation realizing they have no control over you. Divine has blocked the door, has shut the situation down because this masculine energy chose another direction, okay? Now, the other energy is you guys might have seen some pictures or something online, all right, about a masculine with someone else, okay? It is what it is. All right. Even if your masculine came back and acted like they wanted to work out a situation. It was all a lie because they once again chose someone else and they could have even proposed to this person, giving this person a ring. All right. So divine saying it was only because another situation did not work out. OK, these masculines had multiple loves to choose from. OK, so if one didn't work out, they just chose another one. All right. You know, they was always skeptical about you. They never was 100 percent sold on you, divine fan. OK, always been skeptical in and out of your life, always choosing other people, even though you were there all along. OK, so divine want you to make the choice and choose you. All right. This masculine is suffering the loss of you. Heartbreak. Their most um, heartbreaking energy is knowing that they gave you to someone else. OK, they gave you to someone else. OK, and they know that you're going to have a loving, honest, authentic, committed relationship with someone else. So it's a hurting feeling like that because they played you and they manipulated you. And they always thought that you would be there. And this is masculines who had a history of having side pieces, you know, third pieces, third parties, fourth pieces, just multiple lovers, as you guys have been seeing in the readings. All right. So this door is now shut. It's been blocked by the universe and you're receiving someone new. All right. And even if this new person, you know, is not. A God's gift, you still have to notice the red flags about what's acceptable for you moving forward in relationships. You have to notice that everybody is not perfect. So you have to pick and choose what is best for you. All right. So that's the channel messages that divine wants to share because right now we send a lot of tens, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 everywhere. Okay. But it's a misfortune here. Here's a 10. Somebody has suffered a misfortune. All right. And here's six and four, a new chapter, another 10. So someone has closed out a cycle or a chapter in their life. And now they're moving forward in a new chapter. Okay. Vigilance. All right. Somebody's very guarded and protected in this energy. Six and four is 10. They know they have to close out situations. Somebody is very guarded. This is a mystery type of energy. They don't want to share anything here. All right. But behind that is recuperation. All right. Recuperation. Divine is saying it's time to recuperate from all of this drama and all of this because of choices not being made properly. Okay. A choice is not being made properly. All right. 
So I do want to tell you guys about my um, manifestation kits. All right. I'm always thinking and creating. All right. This is what I like to use my energy for. Okay. Doing more creating. And Divine want me to share with you guys how I healed. Okay. How I healed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. How I healed and how I worked on myself to get to where I am today feeling great, feeling confident. Yes, I got beaten. Yes, I got bruised. Yes, I had to tend the swords. Yes, I had to turn into the queen of swords. You know, yes, I was lied to. Yes, I was manipulated. Okay, but it's time to heal from that. And it's time to get over that because I want to see what divine is offering me new. And that is the direction that I am choosing to go. Okay, so I am to share with you guys how I heal. And I made these manifestation kits about prosperity, about protection, and about love. And these are the techniques that I used. All right, and this is my. This is my protection kit, all right? You get all of these. It is herbs. You get crystals and herbs and candles and everything, all right? And you also get bath herbs, too, to have a bath and a detox crystal as well. These are wonderful kits. I'll break it down on the community board for you, okay? But this is my protection kit, all right? All of my manifestation kits are $34.44. This is my love kit. All right. This is all about love. Everything that you need to manifest love in your life. All right. And this is my prosperity kit. Okay. So you get all of these things here, the candle and everything, the herbs, the sage, the everything to pro, um, manifest monies, okay, and your pinnacles. So these three kits, I'll post them on the community board, but you can also email me at queenofwands50 at gmail.com, all right? So I just want to share with you guys some of the techniques that I use to heal and to work on myself. Okay, because it's not a one time thing. It's a consistent thing working on yourself and healing. Okay, thank you for listening. But however, we are into um, I walked into the office today and these cards was on the floor. Now, I don't know how I'm always picking up cards on the floor when I think I have everything together. But these four cards was on the floor. Okay, so this is divine is letting you know everything that's been done to you guys has been returned to the sender. It's all been returned to the sender. Divine want you guys to know. I guess we got a glare here, but divine want you guys to know that it's all being returned to the sender. Okay, the next energy is somebody's definitely hiding that they are bisexual or gay. Somebody's hiding that. All right. They know they are, but somebody's not telling anybody about their preference sexually. OK. And then someone that you guys are dealing with, when they leave your house, they go home to someone else. When they leave you, they go home to someone else. OK. They're living with someone else and they're lying to you guys about it. And the other energy is they talk to this karmic about you. They tell this karmic about you, your life, and, you know, all these lies. They blame everything that's going wrong in their life on you. And also, they could be currently um, blaming the STD energy on you, Divine Femme, on you, that you gave them the STD. And you guys know you probably haven't even slept with this person in God knows when, okay? All right, Holy Spirit. So these are the energies here. And divine wants you guys to know, beware of that they're hiding their secrets and everything that somebody keep doing to you guys daily in the spell work is being returned back to them. All right. So they have to see the demise of their own life. And that's what's happening here. All right. So seven of sticks divine is fighting off everything for you. It could be seven different people here. It could be just a lot of negative energy thrown your way. All right. And also, I get the energy of a swamp and alligators, all right? So whatever that means, the ancestors is up on that, okay? And this is Ten of Pentacles, I mean Ten of Cups, I'm sorry. Um, divine and the ancestors is, is protecting your Ten of Cups. Whew. All right, so I feel some tongue-tied energy, all right? And I hear that, um, I just hear shut up. 
okay? So um, this is Ten of Cups. The, your ancestors and divine is protecting your Ten of Cups, your love, your peace, and your happiness. And they also let you know that they love you, all right? And you are family to the divine. You are family to them. And they let you know that. And your family, you know, your ancestors, they love you and they're protecting you. All right. Divine said it's a lot of bitterness going on here. This is towards the divine film. And also divine film, you could feel a little bitter about the situation and what has happened to you. All right. And it's the energy of somebody want to rip your heart out. Somebody really hate you. You feel this energy. Okay. But you all about trying to have a peace of mind. You just want a peace of mind. You want to be free. All right. And you want to take your time for whatever it is that you choose, whatever direction that you choose. All right. To be happy in. All right. Whatever direction you choose to be happy in. And this is focus on what makes you smile and what makes you happy. All right. That's what divine want you to do. And it's time to release these attachments. You have attachments, you know, I'm here, like learn to let go of these attachments. Stop searching and looking around on the internet for things that hurt your feelings. Stop going back and forth on somebody's social media. All right. It's time to release these attachments and it's time to start focusing on you. Let go and let God. Stop looking for shit that's going to hurt your feelings, hurt your heart. It's time to heal. Okay. And that's what divine is saying here. It's time to step back and it's time to breathe. Maybe you guys need to meditate. Go ground yourself. Okay. Because divine said you are angelically protected. There's the sea, the shield and the sword. They're protecting you. From all hurt, harm, and danger. All right? They're protecting you here. Okay? Because somebody is facing their justice. Justice is being served in a situation. All right? And here's the police here. So justice is being served. And also, someone could have legal problems. Okay? Some legal problems here. Because the divine is saying something is hidden here. Something is not right, okay? Something is not right, and somebody could still be holding on to somebody, okay? And the next energy of Scott is you guys are mirroring each other. You and your masculine is mirroring each other because this person right here, they said, fuck, I miss her. This person miss you, okay? But guess what? They're mad about it. Right, they're mad about it. It's a lot of police around, so that must mean something to this reading, okay? And also, it could be a fire, all right? So, also, it could be a fire, too, okay? So, that might mean, mean something here, but this masculine energy is realizing that they miss you, they're mad about it, though, just like I said, they're mad that they miss you, okay. So let's see what the energy is and what is the message that divine want to share with you. It's time for you to smell the roses. All right. Look at those crystals. See, I got some new crystals. So divine said, maybe you need to um, get some crystals so you can learn how to meditate. Okay. But it's time for you to start smelling the roses and stop being stuck. All right. It's time for you to start enjoying your life. All right. And stop being stuck. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is, it's time for you to get secure within yourself and stop um, feeling insecure. All right? It's time for you to wake up. You already know what the deal is. So now it's time for you to take action towards what it is that you really want that makes you happy. And he says, stop waiting. Stop waiting around. What's the hold up? It's time to heal and start moving forward. When you make a decision to move forward, it's part of your healing, keeping it moving, building something new, not being stuck anymore, all right? Being stuck is not getting you anywhere, okay? Find your self-love, your value, and your worth, all right? Once you know that, you can stand in your power and be strong and confident and not settle anymore. 
Not settle for shit that ain't servicing you. Not selling for motherfuckers who is hurting you. All right? It's time to brand yourself with something new. All right? Don't get branded as weak. All right? Get branded as healed and standing in your power. All right? Being strong. All right? What other people got going on is no longer affecting your life because you're standing in your power and you're moving forward. You can't save everybody. All right? You can't heal everybody when you're not completely healed and you're still working on yourself. So you are number one. And that's what divine want you to know. You come first. All right? You can't fix people who continue to put themselves in situations and leave your mind and your head all hazy and fucked up. Leave you all confused, undecided, insecure. Like you're not good enough because they don't know what the fuck they want or they just want everyone. All right? You're not an option. Don't ever settle. Okay? Don't ever settle. Okay? And this is like minds attract like minds. You have to change your mind, change your focus. You have to put it out there that you are valuable, all right? That you love yourself. You want something authentic, all right? What you put out there is what you attract back in, okay? So put it out there that you're strong, that you're confident, that you're beautiful, all right? You got this. You don't want no person who takes you back into sad-ass, insecure energy like what you just left, okay? So you really have to stay focused on yourself, be strong and confident here, and divine saying, realize that you are a fucking survivor. You are a survivor, and it's time to move forward and be happy and strong and confident, all right? I post those pictures on Fridays because you have to get into your boss bitch energy. You have to heal. You have to get out there and start your life again. You can't stay and waddle in misery, all right? Sometimes motherfuckers don't give a fuck if you hurt. They don't care how you feel. You have to restart your life again and be a strong, confident, bold, independent, beautiful, authentic, all right? Divine film. Woman in general. A survivor, okay? This is what divine want you to know. All right, you got this. All right, so it's time to step back and get your breathing room, and it's time to plan your life. I always say, without a plan, plan to fail. You have to make a plan in your life. All right, this is another beautiful deck, deck on the Sage Oracle. All right, all right, and this is from you know the King of Aloha. All right, this is a lot of energy. All right. So Divine said that all decks have been shuffled prior to me coming on, all right? But Divine said also, you have to look at the infinite possibilities that you're being offered, Divine Film. You got to look at the infinite possibilities, all right? Stop all this pessimism, not being sure, all right? You got to focus on the good, focus on what is working instead of what isn't working, all right? And what is working, make more out of it. Okay, and somebody could be concerned about having a baby here. All right, somebody feel like they're never going to have a baby because they can't find anyone worth having a baby with. Okay, that's pessimism. All right, stop that. Woe me, woe me shit. All right, what you put out there is what you get. If this is how you feel, then divine say, okay, fine. When you have faith and when you believe, then that's when you get what you're seeking. Okay. The next one is vulnerability. You got to be vulnerable. You got to take a chance. You got to take that leap of faith. All right? You got to get out there, let go, and experience something new. All right? Stop being clouded. All right? You got to accept and take a leap of faith to what divine is offering you. It could be something amazing. It could be something exciting. You know, I'm always open because when you are healed, you always open to what divine is offering you. You always put it out there about manifesting your dreams. You can do this. Okay. This is perseverance. All right. You got to hang in there. You got to be strong and it's never giving up knowing that you can accomplish something amazing. All right. Knowing that your comeback is so fucking strong. 
All right? You know you can do this. You got this shit. Okay? And this is, yeah, you might be bored right now, but take that boredom and turn it into something amazing. All right? Somebody worried about not having kids. You might have three kids. Okay? You have to rediscover your passion. All right? This is also your sensual side. Rediscover it. Rebuild yourself. Life is not over. You're just acting like it is. But divine is saying, just because you might be bored at the moment, you have to re-energize and rediscover your life. Okay? And this is, yeah, you guys could be going into some type of depression here. All right? Because you're bored. All right? You got to get up. Go out and ground yourself. Talk to the Holy Spirit. Talk to your angels, your ancestors, and divine. And tell them what it is that you're looking for. And day by day, you'll start to feel better. Day by day, you'll start manifesting your healing and something new. But you have to be the start of this. You have to motivate yourself enough to come out of this and choose the divine first. Choose your ancestors, your spirit guides. Choose your spiritual growth so you can heal, all right? So you can have this amazing energy that I share with the divine. It's amazing, okay? You just, every day you heal and you get stronger and stronger and stronger every day, all right? And this is what divine want you to, um, you know, Focus on all these changes, all these different parts of you that's growing. This is your sexuality. A lot of you guys are celibate. But this is your sexuality expressing yourself freely. Because you want to express yourself freely with someone that you can trust. You don't just want to expose yourself and get caught up in one night stands, cheesy ass relationships. You want someone who is deserving of your sexuality. That's very good. Always be selective about who you lay down with. Okay? Yes, because here it is. You guys have been rejected in the past. You guys have felt rejection. And yes, it hurts. It's very painful. It hurts to know or not to know, but to sometimes feel like you're not good enough. When you know that you are more than good enough. All right. But guess what? Divine never rejects you. They always make you feel like you're wanted. All right. Some of you guys could have slept with people who abandoned you. You could have had one night stands with your masculine who constantly ran in and out of your bed, in and out of your life. All right. You just feel rejected by this person because they're not committal. All right. It's not you. It's what someone else couldn't offer you. All right, so now it's time for you to change. It's time for you to stop feeling rejected and it's time for you to move forward. Okay, and this is stop being in disbelief and it's time to make your dreams come true. All right, it's just time to make your dreams come true. Don't get stuck in this energy. Don't get stuck here, all right, and feel like you're not good enough. You know, you can't believe that this person did this to you. It's time to get over that. And it's time for you to make your own dreams come true. And that's what divine is saying. It is what it is. It happened. But it's time to move on. It's time to stop being stuck. All right. And it's time to release this worry. All right. It's time to throw all these fears away. And it's time to see what God can offer you. All right, throw all these useless cares away. Get out there and meditate on something beautiful and positive moving forward. Okay, that's what divine want you to do because they're saying you are angelically protected and you will have joy and commitment. All right, because someone is missing you. All right, someone's missing you. What is the energies, Holy Spirit, that you want to share with divine fam? Yeah, you have open arms to new love. You have to open your arms, open your heart to new love. All right. Somebody wants you back and they're hoping that you have open arms for their return. Okay. And this is for those who are still in this journey. All right. It could be a Scorpio. 
okay? And also, this has been an off and on relationship. It hasn't been consistent, all right? It's just been off and on here. Yeah, divine said, because there's more people involved. It could be three other people involved with this relationship, all right? And divine said, shit got messy. It could have even been some competition and fights and everything going on here. And shit got messy, all right? And this person just get comfort from everybody. This person has started all this bullshit between all these people. Because all they do is look for comfort. They don't want anything that's serious and committal. They just look for comfort. And that's why shit gets messy. Because people think that they're offering something and they're not here. All right? And this is very dangerous energy here. All right? Because somebody could get killed in this shit. It could get messy. This is somebody with a gun. All right? And they're saying that you're dead to me and physically shoot someone. Okay? It's very getting messy. It's very messy here. All right? Because someone could have found out that someone's just meeting up with different people. Meeting up with different everybody. Just have people everywhere and just playing each other. Playing him, playing her. It was just third parties on top of third parties. It was just a lot of fuck shit going on here. And you knew this. All right? And you could have stayed out of this energy. All right? It was just a lot of shit going on here. And everybody was just out having good times. Everybody is just screwing everybody in this situation. And this is not what you was looking for in this relationship. All right? And you definitely chose to walk away from this here. And here's a card that's stuck here. Damn, look at this card. It was stuck in this deck and it don't even go in here. And it... And divine said, because you're the empress. Because you're the fucking empress. That's why you walk away from this shit. That everybody is just fucking everybody. It's all kind of different meetups, hookups. Everybody's going everybody here. Hanging out, partying, drinking. It's just too much. And you're the empress. And you walked away from that. And that is very amazing that this card wind up in this deck. This card goes into another deck. Okay? Holy Spirit, any more messages here? So the divine is letting you know you are the Empress. So let's clarify the message since the Empress walked onto the table. Because y'all a boss bitch. Y'all a bad bitch. All right? And people don't like that shit. You know what the fuck you want. All right? You know what the fuck you want. And it ain't this shit. All right, Holy Spirit? So what is it that you want the Empress to know? Those cards pop right out here. Yeah, that they still trying to hook up with you, even though they got all this fuck shit going on. All right. Yep. They crying over you. All right. This person wanted you to be crying over them, but you don't give a fuck. All right. Because you know, all they do is hook up with people. Okay. And this and put you in competition. All right. They want you to be upset. They want you to chase them. They want to take you back in this high school mentality bullshit. All right. This is what they want to do to you. Just get you caught up so you can be somewhere crying and feeling all emotional over they fuck shit again. When you probably have healed and walked away from the situation. Okay. Holy Spirit, what is the other messages here? And Divine said, yeah. And he's still fucking lying. Anything this masculine energy come to you and tell you, Divine said they still fucking lying. Okay. Yup. And they coming for you. You know, and I just hear bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when it come for you? Because the vine said this motherfucker's still lying. All right? So when it come for you, all right? Holy Spirit, what else do we need to know? All right? And this is the vibe ain't right. Pull back. Divine is saying no. Pull back from this motherfucker. Some shit ain't right. All right? This is the energy that somebody's still trying to get you Trying to drag you into their bullshit. All right? Trying to drag you into their bullshit. So just be aware of this energy, guys. All right? Any more messages, Holy Spirit, out of this deck that you want us to know? All right? Yeah. It's part of an emotional retrograde system. All right? It's part of the emotional retrograde. Somebody very emotional that you have stepped back to walk out of their life. All right? And I got all these cards, so you know I got to go with the flow. All right. Yeah. Step back because somebody keep doing spell work on you. 
You're tired of this shit. You want to move on with your life. Divine says a bunch of spell work involved in this and being done on the Empress here. All right. Somebody's getting abused in secret. All right. Somebody is an abuser. Okay. The next energy is somebody lying all up in your face. Somebody got your name all in their mouth talking shit about you. Okay, and this is the energy that we pulled out here that somebody is talking shit about you to a karmic and it's all lies. Okay, they spreading gossip about you. It's a lot of rumors about you. Okay, and they pressed. They all pressed because you don't give a fuck. All right, they all pressed because you told them to kiss your ass. They all pressed because you protect it. They all pressed because you don't care. You won. You won. The battle is not yours. You're not in competition with anyone. You move forward with your life. It is what it is. It's done, done. You're ready for something new, new. Somebody just want to be praised. All right? Somebody feel like they're the star. You said be the star. You won. Okay? The next energy is your wifey material. Okay? You are a star. Your wife material. And you're going to treat yourself as such. All right? You're not going to settle for shit. Because the vine said, you know you deserve better. You know you deserve better. You're not somebody's side piece. You're somebody's wife material. Okay? And this is shut him up. All right? Just leave him. Make him go away. Make him stop talking shit to me. Just make him leave me alone. This is how some of you guys feel. This is what you guys have been asking for this person to shut up and leave you alone because you know they ain't saying shit but lies, okay? And this is, and they want to make up to you, okay? A lot of you guys could be into makeup. A lot of you guys could look beautiful with your makeup, okay? But somebody, I said somebody want to shut up. Somebody said shut up. But this is, y'all don't want this person talking no more shit to y'all. Because you feel like it's just shit and it's just lies. All right. So you're definitely ready to move on with your life. Is there any more messages, Holy Spirit? Somebody truly miss you. All right. They really do miss you. So let's just remember that, huh? But I just want to um, drop out with the end with the traditional here. Yeah. Somebody's definitely facing justice in the situation. They face injustice here. All right. It could be the Queen of Cups. All right. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that's facing justice. What's happening here with the Divine Film? All these cards came out. Yeah, somebody's been juggling you, all right, to a pinnacles. Somebody could have been juggling you even with somebody at work, all right? Somebody could be, be very low on their pinnacles altogether, all right? Now somebody want to offer love to you. More Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Ace of Cups, all right? But they juggling. So they're still trying to decide between you and somebody else. So they're juggling right now here, okay? Because they're trying to juggle the Empress too now, all right? They undecided here, Page of Swords. But they're stalking you. They're watching you. They're monitoring you. This could be an air sign also, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? But Because somebody got a broken ass heart, all right? Somebody got their heart broke in the situation, all right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody been juggling their ass off. All right, the next energy right here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Being sneaky as fuck. Somebody being sneaky as fuck. Seven of Swords energy is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It could be any energy, but I'm getting more air sign energy. Okay, yeah, and here's another seven. Seven of Cups. So somebody been sneaky, all right? Utilizing a bunch of fucking options. It could even be up to seven options, okay? But somebody been sneaky as fuck out here breaking hearts, all right? I got this right here. It could be the King of Swords, all right? Another air sign energy. Somebody could have legal problems as well. It's some type of authority that somebody feel like they could have here, all right? Somebody feel like the King, the right type of energy here. Like they know how to run this shit. The fuck is this? A pimp? All right. Oh, look at this shit. Divine said when I said the king. Look at this shit. Fell on the floor. Yeah, it's King Kermic. Divine said this is the King Kermic. Who tried to run everybody sneaky as fuck and keep everybody stuck in sticky situations. 
All right. It's the King Kermic. Okay. This person is controlling, manipulating. All right. And they're very defensive because they don't like to take accountability for the shit that they do. Okay. And this could be a fire sign that's defensive towards this energy. All right. A Leo, Aries, or Sag. So this is what I got for you guys. I hope I gave you guys the update. And if you like your own personal reading, I got some appointments available for tomorrow. All right. Give me an email at queenofwines50 at gmail.com. And also check out my manifestation boxes. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.